If your customers aren't loving you and aren't knowing what to expect throughout the entire process, then it's costing you money. This interview is brought to you by O'Neill Interactive. O'Neill Interactive designs and develops high performance, award-winning websites for home builders all across the United States. More leads, more sales, and smart, friendly support. O'NeillInteractive.com. newhomesales.com Kimberly Mackey you're back on the program how's it feel it's great it's great exciting the first time we had great success didn't we I think you were accosting me in the hallway out here at IBS I tackled her and I was like get up here let's do an interview look it's been a big um, uh, big show for you you had a big master session yesterday Will Duderstadt Chris Hartley Kimberly Mackey in the house tell me what you talked about so we talked about the customer experience funnel. And what builders don't realize is that everything they do impacts the customer experience. And the customer experience, of course, impacts their ROI, their return on investment. If your customers aren't loving you and aren't knowing what to expect throughout the entire process, then it's costing you money. It's costing you sales. And so what we did is we really broke it down, how you can really identify who you are in the market, why you are that in the market, and how to attract those leads all the way through to handing over the keys to a happy homeowner and getting referrals. So, so it, was, it was aggressive to get through all that. Who you are, what, what you do, and how to get the leads. So give me some suggestions on how you do that. And I want to talk about just really specific things that you talked about uh, in that session. Yeah, so fortunately, I spoke with Will and uh, with Chris. So Will is, as you know, he's the lead master So for MI Homes. Uh, so that was great. So he, he handled that part of the program. Uh, Chris came in, talked about uh, developing an, an award-winning sales team. Uh, and then what, 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 one of his tips, how do you, how do you get an award-winning sales team? He gave tips on even where to find salespeople. Where do you find them? So uh, he suggested Nordstrom Shoe Department for one I thought that was awesome. Uh, he and I had discussed previously Vivint uh, Smart Homes or door-to-door -door salespeople. Yeah. They can knock on doors, man. They can do anything. Um, of course, apartments, apartment leasing. It's the same job description. So I like to hire for attitude and train for skills. I can train anybody with a great attitude. How do you know if they have a good attitude? Oh, and the How do you know if they're faking it? So you have to interview, and you have to interview very long. You what questions to, do you ask? I have a very specific questionnaire, and I ask the same questions in every interview. Give and it, one of those, what's the one question that you ask? No, I, I don't have just one question, though. Okay, what's I, one that you like? I, okay, I, if I had one question to ask, and only one question, what would that question be? Then you can take a minute, because you know, you're on the yeah. spot. Okay, well, I would ask them what they are going to do to invest in themselves and drive their traffic. So that's really two questions, but. No, 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 that's yeah. important. I meet people that are like, oh, I want to make all this money. I, I want to make $100,000 a year. And it's like, hey, why don't you buy this book? I don't know, 25 bucks. They won't buy a $25 book, but they want to make, th you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so that's a, that's a powerful question. It is because I want people to know that they're, what they're getting into. I think, but, but it's isn't it easy. Like, what are you going, to, I'm just challenging the case. So like, what are you going to do to invest yourself? Like, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But wouldn't the better question be like, what are you doing or what did you do? I'm just asking. Oh, yeah, I, am, I definitely. I want to know what books they've read. Uh, what are they doing? And you've read that book, so you'll know if they've read it or not. Oh, of course. We're going to have a whole discussion about the book. So, Or if it's one I haven't heard of, because sometimes it is, then we can talk about that, too. You'll know. Uh, but you got, you have to be prepared for interviews, just like you have to be prepared for your sales presentation, uh, for to get up and speak. You have to be prepared. 
The separation is in the preparation. Now watch, I love finding exhausted professionals, trainers, and then just hammering them with lightning round stuff, right? I know you're tired. I, I've had three hours sleep, I think, in an entire week. So, yeah. so I've been here since Saturday. And you're still crushing the interview. So, oh, oh, great. Well, that's good to hear that we're doing okay so far. Okay, you got questions. Okay, we look for Nordstrom Shoe Department. Uh, anything else about Chris's talk? Um, Chris also talked about some home automation or some, some technology that he uses to help his sales. Enter now? Enter now was one of them. It was fantastic. Um, great results on that. And then he's using Atlas and getting um, their texting. Chat, chat bots, Atlas RTX. That's an amazing technology. That's a game changer. It was a, it's been a game changer for him and the stats that he got just from going back and, and putting his old clients in and reaching out to the, or old prospects in, I mean, and reaching out to them. Uh, and then having his online sales counselor, who's a rock star, Ingrid Prince, uh, follow up with them and schedule an appointment and get them in front of the salespeople. So they've had really terrific results. And they did that in Q4 when things were down. So imagine as things start to go back up, we've had a little interest rate correction. So you start doing that stuff and you do it all the time. What kind of results you're going to get? Ingrid Prince, 2015 National Online Sales Counselor of the Year. She's a rock star. Um, okay, now tell me about, you've had a couple of different speaking sessions, but we're going to go back to your first one. What were you uh, talking about in that talk? And give me some content from there. So We're trying to get the people that couldn't come that because they're trying to hit everything. I want to say, okay, I missed that, but we're going to give it to them. So my, my part of the presentation was that builders need to be prepared. They need to have their policies and procedures in place. They need to have, they, they need to track and hold their people accountable. And they need to have systems because if you don't have a system, your people are always in chaos. If your people are always in chaos, your customers are always going to be in chaos. And no one knows quite what to, to expect out of it. So I gave them the tools. We went through using a planned encounter. That is that weekly meeting with your salespeople going through how many how many leads did they have what were they doing to drive their business where did the traffic come from you know all of those critical things that we have to do with every lead source uh, as well as helping them what do they need in order to do what they need to do we talked about the registration form so you're getting that demographic information do more of what works and stop wasting money on the stuff that doesn't work you know, and, and uh, that really resonated, I think, with a lot of, uh, of the builders. And then we talked about from the contract to the actual start and then the start to handing over the keys, measuring those metrics too, surveying your buyers frequently with short surveys. I, I even gave them, I talked about the bathroom ones where they just give you the smiley face, happy or sad, you know, Good. how are things so far? How's your salesperson been so far? We wait and we ask that stuff 90 days after they close. Well, they don't remember who their salesperson. They remember the last experience. So now you're, they, they don't remember. It's been too long. Do you, do you know there's some proven psychology there? That's why with doctors, they give you the lollipop. Because with kids, they, they go like, ah, I got string. And then they get a lollipop. And all they remember is the lollipop. Yeah, exactly. So ask short questions. Don't make it long. It's like two things. Boom, boom. And then you'll know. You, these are your litmus tests. You don't know how you're doing unless you ask. Yeah. It's important. Okay, so if someone says, okay, great, I'm going to process this. Like, what do I do? Google processes? Do, are you working with a company? Is this something that you, is it proprietary, something that you create? Where do we find a process to implement? I usually recommend, and a lot of them use um, outsourced for the surveying. Is that what you're talking about for that? Yeah, like, okay, so we, we, we're telling builders, look, have a process, oh. but w where do we find a checklist? I mean, what processes are you recommending? So I actually gave away forms. So we, we gave out packets. How can we get those forms? So you can email me at kmackey at newhomes with two S's, solutions.com. So newhomessolutions.com, and I'll send them to you. So, but planned encounter form, registration forms, realtor registration forms, pipeline reports to measure the metrics. How are you doing on all of these things? Uh, and the, all of those forms are just simple Excel spreadsheets, but they can be integrated into your builder trend program, your CRM program, whatever you're using on that. We can integrate all the stuff with a survey company, or we can even conduct our own, but I love it when we use a third party for that. Woo! Like a champion. Now look, I'm just gonna give you the mic. Anything else you wanna talk about to the industry, what salespeople need to know, what managers need to go, have a minute, go. Platform's yours. 
Well, thanks. So I guess if I was going to say anything to you guys out there, the market is, is getting ready to make a shift. We know it's getting re ready to make a shift. The question for me is, have you made a shift? Because what you have been doing is not going to continue to work. You've got to be prepared for this stuff. Those people who have those relationships with realtors, those people who are doing their own marketing and their own outreach, building that referral base, those are the ones that it doesn't matter what the market does, you're always going to have the sales. You'll be the one that has the sales in your community when your neighbor and your, com your, com your competitor down the street, they're sitting there twiddling their thumbs. So that's what I would have to say. Thank Boss you, Gwen. Mode with Kimberly Mackey, New Homes Solutions, kmackey at newhomeswithanxsolution.com. Get the free, you'll send them to them for free. Sure. No catch, no this, you have to sign up for email. Okay, cool. Listen, thanks for being on the program, newhomesales.com, where we follow the people that are making it happen.